Hi, I'm Jennifer Cha, the Chief Operating Officer of Chimeric Therapeutics. At Chimeric, we're focused on bringing the promise of cell therapy to life for more patients with cancer. Traditional drug development is really focused on delaying disease progression in cancer. We believe that novel cell therapies have the promise and the potential to cure cancer. Our mission is to discover, develop, and commercialize the most promising and innovative cell therapies that can bring that potential and that promise to life for more patients. In pursuit of our mission, we've been meeting with the world's most innovative scientists and clinicians in cell therapy development. I'd like to introduce you to Elliot Burke, the head of corporate and business development at Chimeric, who can provide you a little insight into what we've been looking for. As we build our pipeline at Chimeric, we're looking for three things, the best technologies, the best people, and the agility and experience to quickly and effectively translate these critical innovations into life-saving therapies for patients. I'm incredibly excited to announce that we've acquired the exclusive license to the CDH17 CAR-T from the University of Pennsylvania. This novel third generation CDH17 CAR-T meets all of our criteria and we believe has the promise of curative potential for more patients with cancer. The University of Pennsylvania is the first stop that many people looking for cell therapy innovation would make. It's widely recognized as a leader in cellular immunotherapy and well known as the home to the first FDA approved CAR-T therapy. The CDH17 CAR-T therapy was discovered and developed at the University of Pennsylvania by Dr. Xinhua and his incredible team. Dr. Hua is a professor of cancer biology an investigator at the Abramson Family Cancer Research Institute, and a Harrington Scholar Innovator. It is my great pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Wa. So I'm a, a professor of cancer biology uh, of University of Pennsylvania, Hellman School of Medicine, and also investigator uh, of uh, Abramson Family Cancer Research Institute. So my lab have a long-term interest in studying uh, the cancer biology of uh, various solid tumor, including neural endocrine tumor, and also develop uh, immunotherapy. So we recently uh, made a, a great progress in developing uh, a, a CAR T, uh, which targeted uh, uh, the solid tumor, including neural endocrine tumors, uh, and have a great uh, uh, efficacy in eradicating. Uh, tumor, but uh, uh, do not uh, uh, damage the normal tissue in our pre-clinical studies. So this work is a, uh, a team effort, and uh, uh, many people made a great contribution. Especially Dr. Zhejie Feng uh, made a uh, great uh, uh, contribution to various phase of this project. In terms of uh, development, the pre-clinical model for uh, testing and also cancer biology is uh, over uh, a decade. So the event process is the first to uh, develop the, uh, the uh, solid tumor, especially uh, gastrointestinal uh, tumor, including your endocrine tumor. Uh, then uh, we uh, assess the antibody uh, targets. And with targets identified, we can assess the uh, efficacy and the toxicity profile. Uh, eventually be leading to discovery invention of the best uh, counties for the uh, solid tumor, uh, especially GI tumors. The uh, intracellular signaling domain and uh, extracellular domain. Uh, in this process, uh, we found uh, among uh, dozens of variants, uh, the uh, three intra uh, intracellular domains combined with the uh, uh, the shortest linker uh, give the best re results uh, in efficacy uh, in the pre-clinical models we tested. So what drew us to this asset in particular was the novelty of CDH17 as a cell therapy target. The elegant and extensive work that Dr. Wah's team has done to build an optimal third generation car and the compelling preclinical efficacy and toxicity profile that's been seen to date with the CDH17 CAR. The CDH17 CAR-Ts 
have a potential to treat uh, various gastrointestinal tumors, uh, including uh, aggressive uh, pancreatic tumor, gastric tumor, and uh, uh, colorectal cancer, uh, and also uh, the neuroendocrine tumor. Uh, all these type of tumors express a high level of CDF17 in a very high percentage of tumor cells. We are looking forward to work very closely with Dr. Hua and the PEN team. We'll be working on the investigation of new drug application followed by a clinical trial. We hope that this clinical trial is going to bring great potential for patients with advanced solid tumors and neuroendocrine tumors. This, uh, uh, the first one is the communication uh, with the Primarica is very effective and uh, also uh, effective with the uh, Pen uh, Center of Innovation, uh, an important component in this communication. And the three uh, parties, I think, is just uh, communicate very smoothly, uh, effectively. Second is uh, uh, the Chimerica team have a uh, strong uh, demonstrated experience uh, in developing uh, the FDA approved uh, uh, cardiotherapy. Uh, third is uh, the Chimerica team share the uh, excitement uh, uh, with us for moving this project forward. And we're so excited to work with Penn as a partner because of their deep deep experience and capabilities in CAR T-cell therapy development as one of the pioneering institutions in this field, as well as the great chemistry that we found to date, not only with Dr. Wah, but with the Penn Center for Innovation, the Center for Cellular Immunotherapies, and the numerous other groups at Penn who are involved in translating groundbreaking science into the clinic for patients. I think the CTF 17, uh, 17 CAR T uh, have a great potential uh, to lead to uh, curative uh, treatment for various uh, solid tumor uh, which express the CDH17. With the CDH17 CAR T, we believe we've found the best technology. In preclinical models, we've seen complete tumor eradication with no relapse. We believe we have the best people with Dr. Wah, his team, and the University of Pennsylvania as collaborators. We're looking forward to bringing together their scientific expertise and experience with the development and commercialization experience of our Chimeric team to bring the promise of cell therapy to life for more patients.